let's begin our first Moto Masterclass. And this Masterclass is going to be about modeling and only modeling, nothing else. Um, and we're going to start simple to get how to brace an item down, which is very important. And we're going to build this little bolt here, okay? And we're going to start fresh. And the first thing I want to do is grab a square or a cube. And I'm going to draw out a cube flat like this. And I'm going to give it some depth, pull it up here. Give it a little bit of depth like that. Spacebar drop the tool. Now we have this square, but when we go into sub D mode, it looks like a weird pencil. So we need to brace this item before we do anything else to it. So let's begin doing that by using our edge loops, edge slices. So let's go to our mesh edit tab and let's go to our polygon mode. And let's select these polygons right through here. I'm going to put a loop slice count of one, mode free. And I'm going to put it about right there like that. And I'm going to do one more up here, loop slice. And I'm going to put it right up close to the edge, about 10% or so. Like that. Okay, there's that. Now, I want to cut it up and down this way. So I'm going to select those polygons, and the way I want to cut my have my loop slice go I'll say count of two this time I'll leave it on free and just cause I can and I'll make this one over here close to the edge and then we'll make this one close to the edge as well spacebar drop the tool click to deselect everything I go into tab we're starting to hold our shape a little better than we was so let's make a couple more cuts and we'll make them along this way We'll loop slice, count of two again. And we'll put that one about right there. And we'll put this in about 10% from the edge, or 90% actually on the other side. 10% this one will be, and this one will be 90. Spacebar, drop the tool. Now, as you can see, when I go into sub D mode, we're holding our shape pretty good. So now we want to cut this up a little bit more. So I'm going to select this way, select my loop slice. This time I'm going to go to symmetry, count of two. And I'm going to park those about 18%. Now let's say 16%. Okay, and I'm going to spacebar drop my tool. Now I have those two cuts there. Let's make two more right in the center. And we'll make them about that far apart there. Spacebar drop the tool. Okay, now we have these sections. Now you can go about this several ways. You can cut these out and put them on a separate mesh, which would be probably the most ideal way, but I'm going to go the straightforward way and include this all in the same mesh, okay? So let's go to our sub D. Everything's holding okay. So I'm going to, and I'm going to show you a fast way to do this by mirroring our object, mirroring our object. I'm not going to go around and do all four of these. I'm just going to do two. Actually, just one completely. So I'm going to select this one, this one, okay? I'm going to hit the B key. For, to pick up my bevel tool off the shelf, I'm going to click to activate it, and I'm going to pull on the blue handle, and that's going to bring those out, like so. Spacebar, drop the tool. Now we have this coming out here, so the next thing we want to do is we could either go ahead and brace this, or we could go ahead and extrude. It really isn't up. To, it's really up to you. So what we'll do is I'll select these faces. like this. I'll hit the B key, click to activate my tool, and I'll pull up on my blue handle and you can see that we're getting an extrusion there. That kind of looks like a brace going across. And when we tab it in you can see it's just kind of a hump. We don't really want that unless that's the look you're going for. So we need to brace this item up. So let's go ahead and start bracing this item up. So we'll select our loop this way. We'll go to loop slice, count of two, symmetry, and we'll put them about 10% from the edge or so. Spacebar, drop the tool. Now let's slice along this loop here. Loop slice. Like so. And let's see where else can we go. We can go up around this way like this. A loop slice. Click. That'll help brace that up a little bit more. 
we hit the tab key now you can see what we're getting at here we're getting a little bit better so we want to brace up through here I'm going to say loop slice this time I'll say count one mode free and I'm just going to put a line right up next to there like that spacebar drop the tool and let's do the same thing on this side we'll put it right up next to it there spacebar drop the tool now as you can see we're holding our geometry here pretty good we want to make one more loop slice I want to say right around the bottom here like so spacebar drop a tool now when we go into sub D mode we're holding our shape really well now we want to make our little stud here so let's go back into polygon mode let's select this face and we we'll hit the B key to bevel it and I'm going to bevel it in like so spacebar drop the tool now I'm going to select up through here grab my loop slice count of one position 50 percent that'll make it right in the middle and I'm going to click that'll put a slice right down the middle I'm going to do the same thing this way loop slice 50 percent count of one right down the middle now we have this little square here and select it hit the R key to scale and pull in on the blue handle to make it a little more uniform spacebar drop the tool let's go to our vert mode let's select this vertice this vertice and let's scale them out like so now let's select this vert and this vert and let's try to scale these out a little just to make it a little more round okay now we have what looks to be sort of like a circle now I have a script that I can run that's called perfect circle I'll demonstrate that for you but this will work just fine if you don't have this script you can go ahead and extrude this here and when you sub did it will look pretty good so if I go to my special tools say hit my perfect circle you can see that turns that into a circle there but if you don't have this script it's, it's not a big deal okay so now I'm gonna hit the since I got those faces selected I'm gonna hit the X key to extrude it click to activate it and let's bring this up like that spacebar drop a tool let's select these polygons select our loop slice count of two mode symmetry and we'll put a couple right around the top there like that now you can see what we're getting here if you want to make it a little tighter you can put a loop slice right around through here like so and that tightens that up a whole lot and you can see we got really great flow and geometry everything is real uniform everything stays in quads and it looks really nice so now how are we going to go about fixing this up doing the rest of it well let's go into our left view and zoom out a little bit I'm going to select these polygons select loop slice count of one we'll make it 50 percent and cut that sucker right up the middle go to my vert mode and let's select all the verts on this side and delete them okay now we have this now let's mirror this so let's go up here to our duplicate let's mirror it click to activate the tool mirrored it in my Z and let's bring this over here like so we'll zoom in and that snaps right there spacebar drop the tool now let's go back to perspective now you can see we got two of them done so now let's go into our top view our verts and let's select everything on this side of the model and and delete them I actually deleted too much there so let's go back to our perspective view spacebar drop the tool go to polygon mode select right up the middle and let's put a loop slice at 50 percent right down the center there now we can go back to our top view go to our verts and select all the verts on that side of the middle line we just created and delete them and there we go now we need to mirror this so let's go to our duplicate mirror click and let's bring it over you know I'm gonna make it a little wider make the distance zero make it a little wider and I'm gonna bridge it because I don't like it to be too skinny 
instead of having them snap together, I'm going to make it a little bit wider there and see if this bridge will work. Let's go back to perspective. Let's zoom in here. Let's go to our edge mode. Select this edge, zoom around here, select this edge, let's go to our duplicate tab, bridge it, and that will bridge those right down the center. Now we have us our completed block. In our next video, we're going to go on, make our bolt coming out of here, and make our latch that the bolt goes into, okay?